I'm Chris Trott. You guys are going to know me as Trotty Golf. I've worked on the tour for 18 years, working with the best players in the game. But today, with Club Champion, I'm going to bring you some information about wedges. So let's start with the definition of a set wedge. Mine is a P7MC or an actual scoring performance wedge. When you're gonna see the shape changes slightly, we lose a bit of that perimeter weighting. What is that, Trotty? What are we talking about, perimeter weighting? That's gonna be the weighting around the golf club. You see the little cutaways? That helps you a little bit with CG location. And you come something more like this, which is a performance scoring wedge. Mine is 52 degrees. These can go as low as 46, 47 degrees. Maybe in some brands it'll be 45, and that will then take the place of your set wedge. So how do you choose first off if you're gonna go set wedge or if you're gonna go performance wedge? In that pitching wedge area, I am talking in those 40 degree numbers about loft. And loft is gonna be how far that blade, how it sits in relation to our shaft. So first way and only way really we can do that is to hit some golf shots. Marry it up to your nine iron. You get your nine iron yardage when you look out there on the range and you simply as a player lay down some numbers. Your fitter at Club Champion is going to go through this with you. If you've got a monitor and you're in a bay, just try and feel the weight of the club. When it comes to wedges, the balance point, how this club is balanced and where it feels, is going to be a bit heavier in the head. And the reason the balance point and the head is heavier because the shaft is shorter. As you move through the set, you get down to a shorter length. So again, visually, just hit your full pitching wedge out there. If you have access to a monitor or you're hitting into a net, then look for those numbers. You expect this to be nice and shallow like that, not too much turf interaction. Not trying to hammer it, I'm not worried about a target. I just simply want some yardages and a flight window at which it's coming out. So as we hit the pitching wedge, and this is getting into that answer as to whether you play a set wedge or a scoring wedge, I like to hit full shots. I like this club to fall just behind my nine iron. I like it to have the feel of the set of the nine iron. So I'm making an extension of my set. Guess what? With those questions answered, I've now answered where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go set wedge. I know the spin might not be as high. Anytime we put more backspin on it, it creates a slightly steeper peak, and also it lands a little steeper. So a higher peak lands steeper. Some of you might want that, but it could well go a hair shorter. The other thing I'm not gonna get into with this club is hitting knockdown shots. I tend to hit full shots when it comes to my pitching wedge. All questions you should ask yourself or your fitter at Club Champion will ask you as you make the decision in the first of your wedge set makeup. So moving into the wedges that you choose, questions. That's what's gonna be asked to you and you have to be honest with your fitter. Where do you play? What sort of golf course do you play? Do you hit full shots with the club that goes in behind your pitching wedge? For me, I do. And I have my lofts right here. I have 52, 56 and 60, four degree increments between each one going from that pitching wedge. Each degree is about three yards. So I'm giving myself a 10 to 12 yard distance on hitting the shot. The next thing to call out, I'm asking questions to myself here. My set shafts are this money taper. I hit full shots with my 52, it's in a money taper. But then what I like to do is hit that knockdown shot. What is a knockdown shot? It's when you take the speed out, you want to control the flight. Well, all that can be helped with my choice in wedge shaft. And I've gone around with my fitter, which happens to be myself in this scenario, but to pick a shaft that drops the peak, drops the spin a bit, and helps me on off-speed shots. So, into the 56, I've got some targets here, 70, 80, 100. If I'm just simply hitting one out there, a 56 to the 70 yard flag, well, that's, that's gonna be pretty good. That's a pretty good number, a pretty good yardage. It grabs, it spins back a bit. It, it comes out a bit more flighted. That is my off speed 56. Start to look at, if you're fortunate enough to be hitting off turf, how does it go through the turf? If this is a mat, how does it feel on the mat? 
because you're getting into now some more specifics that comes to bounce and lie angle, which is gonna be the next thing we look at when it comes to our scoring. So you're working with your fitter, you figured out the full yarded shot, you've decided where you're gonna play off speed shots. For me, that's that 56, it grabs, the flight comes down, the shaft changes as a result. Now let's get into grips. Maybe on an off speed shot, you're gonna to wanna to open the face a little bit in order to hit that flighted one, or you're gonna to wanna to turn onto it a bit more, or start thinking about chipping now. When you chip, do you open the blade on that 56 and that 60? I've made my choices as to what lofts I play, all based on shots. For me, I do. Well, guess what? If you're opening the blade, now I wanna go with a round grip. The manufacturers make ridges or ribs in the back you might want to round if you reposition your hands on there and then grip it. It's quite nice not to feel a rib down the back if you're going to do that when you hit those little flighty ones out there when it comes to chipping where you want to add some loft, maybe get into flipping it up a little bit. Now you're getting into a space where you open and then grip. Guess what? A round is great for that. Lie angles. Your fitter's gone through your full set with you at this point, or if you've just gone for a wedge fitting, it's great if you can take your nine iron to club champion and then they can go off of that. As you start to play different shots, if you're a good player, you'll know that changing how the shaft leans, low for the high one, high for the more flighty one, is gonna impact how it comes out. If that all sounds like alien to you, rely on that fitter, because they're gonna wanna set the lie angle which is the point that contacts the turf with the golf shaft and this degree angle here. It moves on grading from your set, which is why I told you to bring your nine iron and your eight iron to that club champion fitting if you can, because we will grade how we go into our wedges. Then again, be honest with yourself. If you're someone who tends to pull or hit left of target with those wedges, we can manipulate that lie angle and make it slightly what's deemed flatter. That means that the toe of the golf club moves a bit further away from the grip, further away from your nose. And as you play these lower speed golf shots where you're not gripping the club as tight because you want feel, the blade will come out nice and soft and open. Trust me, from experience, a short right flighted golf shot is gonna be better than one where the club is too upright and the heel drags and it pulls left. So lie angle is gonna be another key area to look at. The final thing, is gonna be bounce. And for this, let's go hit some chip shots. Chipping, it's a good place to talk about bounce, but let's define bounce first of all. So as you look at, and I've got a lob wedge here with standard bounce, which says on it nine degrees, we're talking about the camber from the front to the back and how this sits, so nine degree angle coming into the belly of it. Think about bounce as a beach ball or a soccer ball that you've blown up and you're pushing down into a barrel of water. It wants to give back. What does that mean for you, the golfer? If your technique is good, and a fitting's not a lesson, but if your technique is efficient, you wanna try and feel the turf, okay? And you see as I just swing this golf club, I'm just catching the grass and I'm feeling how the ground gives back. So if I'm on firm turf, I might want less bounce. If I'm on softer turf or I've got deep rough that you can see here behind me, I'm gonna want more bounce. But it's also dictated by how you chip. If you're someone who has a lot of shaft lean and goes this way, you wanna make sure that the club can come out of the turf. Right there, that was efficient, that was good. I grazed the turf here slightly, just making one mark. If I then move the ball a bit further forward, and I'll take this shaft and lean it back a little bit. Now I'm revealing more of the back part of the bounce. Yes, I want more height out of it, but maybe I'm gonna catch it a little bit turf first, believe it or not, and this is where the bounce is gonna help me. So you can hear the sound there, that was very much turf first, and it bounced. That is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful if we can do that and we can literally just clip and get there. But as turf conditions change, I don't want you to be scared of that first one I hit where it really had that 
bounce hitting first, that sound that you can have as you've revealed the bounce, that is a welcoming thing. At the end of the day, you wanna go into the turf first. All things you can work with, with your fitter at club champion, as you find which bounce, which camber, which relief on the heel, if you're gonna lower your hands and go this way, relief here where it cambers away, so you can play a nice little flop shot where the ball just goes up, comes down, and doesn't give you too much turf interaction. So the last place you come in your fitting if you've got access to outdoor facilities is as you get into the rough. If not, find a more fluffy part of the mat in a club champion facility if it's indoor and just feel that club again going through the turf. Much like we did with the tighter grass, now you've got something that gives. Sit there, feel it, and you can hear the bounce, you can hear the ball go up the blade and run down there. A lot of different areas to work on, but you work with your fitter to find the option to you. We're gonna conclude by hitting the full shot first. Are you a set wedge guy, or are you gonna go for that 45, 46, 47 degree in the scoring wedge? Where are you gonna start? How many wedges are you gonna play? Be honest with yourself at all times. Get into the bounce towards the end. Once you've found out your shaft combo, where you want your grips to be, and you're gonna make the perfect wedge. And with that, you can find the perfect fit at Club Champion.